In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Plane tool. That's this tool right here. So I'll select the Plane tool and I'm going to create a plane. Now it's that green object. Notice as I rotate, I'm going to get outside the circle so I can rotate it at uh, much finer angles. There's a plane. I'm going to get the Move tool, select this, double click on it go to my selection menu and like to move it to the back and there it is now with my move tool I can then reposition that plane so it's not taking up so much of the screen select off so there's one plane I'll take the plane tool let's create one over here and I'm gonna get outside that large circle again I'd like this one to be pretty shallow get the move tool double click get selection send it to the back like that use a move tool I'm going to move it to where one plane meets the other plane and that's what the plane tool does it just creates vertical planes in your uh, scene so let's take a circle tool and create a sphere or a ball select it I'm going to set it there let's run the simulation see what happens well, as it rolls down one plane, it rolls up the other plane, out of sight. Wonder if it'll come back. Yes, there it is. And so there's a application or a way to use the plane. Let me stop the simulation. Go back to where we were. I'm going to create another object over here. Select it. Set it on the plane. Let's run this simulation now. Oh, they bump into each other. That's kind of interesting. I'm going to stop the simulation here. I'm going to select this one. Go to the materials menu here. I'm going to increase its mass from 0.3 kilograms. Let's make it very heavy. I'm going to make it 50 kilograms. Wow, that's pretty massive. Click off. Let's get back to our original positions. I want to be sure that this is still at 50. Uh-oh, went away when I went back. So I want to reset this mass to 50. Now let's run this simulation. Select off. Well, <laughs> that much lighter sphere really bounced off that much more massive sphere. So that's the uh, use of the plane tool. And in a lot of your scenes, a lot of your mechanisms, you'll, you'll find it very useful. So, again, as you work and learn in Algodoo, remember the goal is always to have fun.